There are some things that just go together, including the Trans-Siberian Orchestra and the holidays. And this year's tour features an all new show, a stunning light display, and a chance to give back. Today we have vocalist Kayla Reeves and music director Al Petrelli. Good morning. So I have to know, what is it that brings you back year after year? Oh, well, we're just a family. Um, and I think that it's an honor to celebrate Paul O'Neill's work. Um, year after year, we loved him and he loved us and we, what he's created has gone on for over 25 years now and there's just so many things to be proud of. And so it's just an honor to be coming back year after year. And we can't get real jobs. <laughs> What you all do is a real job and you bring joy to families year after year. What is your favorite part of the season? Well, I think part of it, first of all, Ohio is the epicenter of uh, when TSO first started touring. So 25 years ago, somebody dared us to do a couple shows in Cleveland and they sold out in a matter of moments and then it just absolutely exploded across the entire state. So to come back to Cincinnati, and think that 25 years ago, you know, there was maybe, I don't know, 3,000 people in a building, and now to do two shows, you talk about 30,000 people showing up. A lot of them we consider our repeat offenders. They come back year after year after year because they love to celebrate the holidays with us. You know, we become a tradition, like when I was a kid or when Kayla was little, you know, we watched Miracle on 34th Street or Charlie Brown or whatever it is. We've become that to so many families in the state of Ohio. And to watch it grow and the excitement and the enthusiasm, they keep coming back, bringing grandparents, grandchildren, whatever. That, that's a thrill for us and it's an honor and it's a privilege and it's a huge responsibility because we want to give you guys a bigger show than last year. What can folks expect from this new show? Look, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, last year we had 22 tractor trailers full of this stuff. You know, some of the greatest singers on God's earth, symphonies by the great composers, we'll do Beethoven, Chopin, Liszt, Mozart, good old fashioned American rock and roll. Uh, everything in between musically, visually, it's one of the biggest shows on the planet, as you can see behind this. And the in the center of it is this beautifully written, very Frank Capra-esque story by Paul O'Neill that everybody in the arena relates to. They make the story their own. So I think it's a celebration. Um, holidays can be kind of bittersweet at times, but people know that if they come see our show, they're, they're going to be taken on this emotional, visual, and sonic journey, and they just can't get enough of it, thank goodness. Now, there's a big milestone that's been reached, and that is 20 million tickets sold and $20 million donated to charity. What impact do you hope to make this year? Well, um, it all goes back to the founder and, and creator of Trans-Siberian Orchestra, Mr. Paul O'Neill. From the very, very beginning, uh, Paul ha was having a conversation with Al one day, and he said, look, I want to donate $1 from every ticket sold and put it back into every local community that we come through. And to be told that we just sold our, our 20 millionth ticket, and if you do the math, mm -hmm. 20 mil, you know, a dollar, a dollar a ticket doesn't seem like a lot of money, but when you add it up over the span of, you know, 20 plus years, uh, Paul O'Neill was really able to make a huge impact throughout these communities. And that is just such an honor and a privilege to be a part of an organization that continues to give back to these communities. Yeah, agreed. Well, Cincinnati, we're coming <laughs> back December 6th, Heritage Bank Center, two shows. Come on, Cincy. Yep, so come on, join us. Let's have our celebration once again. We miss you guys, and we're going to bring you the biggest show ever. See you soon. You can get your tickets at tsotickets.com or trans-siberian.com.